Now to a commuter alert. From subways to buses to trains, commuters are bracing for fare hikes that go into effect tomorrow. CBS 2's Naveen Dhaliwal has more on what you can expect. It seems commuters just can't catch a break as another MTA fare hike is set to begin on Sunday. I'm a little upset, yes. Uh, I could see it coming. I feel like most people could see it coming. As millions of riders get ready to dig deeper into their wallets. Took the train for many, many years, and I know every time there was an increase, it does. It, it makes a serious effect on you. The base fare for subways and buses will rise 15 cents from 275 to 290. A seven day ticket goes up $1 to 34 bucks. A 30 day unlimited Metro card increases by $5, so you'll be paying 132 bucks. And the express bus base fare increases from 675 to $7. Now, some say it's a small price to pay. Using the subways is a lot really convenient for people. Um, that's why a lot of people don't use cars because it saves them gas. That's one way to look at it, but for LIRR and Metro North commuters like Cohen Gray. Maybe because it's how I get to work most of the time and uh, to go home. Her commute from Connecticut to the city will be seeing a 4.5% increase in train fares. There's been a lot of inflation and everything, honestly, ever since COVID, and it's disappointing because it's, it's harder to cut costs. This hike comes as congestion pricing gets ready to take effect early next year. Money from that is expected to address existing issues like replacing old buses and subway cars, along with other upgrades. I know a lot of people tend to cry about prices going up, but you can't stop it. It's going to happen. The MTA says with ridership growing, the fare hikes are needed to maintain current service levels and even increase service frequency. In Columbus Circle, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News.